kind of not behind the stage. I, I, is Tyson going to be 60? 58. 58. Full force blows to the head of 58. I, no, it's not like No matter who you are. No matter who you are. You, do, you don't need to be doing that. Um, it was a kind of exhibition and, they, they, you know, it's kind of sparring. Happened, and I still am trying to make sense of it all and the rounds and pro exhibition, all that stuff will help sway me one way or the other. But I did find that that juxtaposition of, of thoughts and feelings to be very interesting. Boxing pros have just called out Jake Paul for making scripted rules for his upcoming fight with Mike Tyson. Moreover, Canelo Alvarez has joined the chorus of critics condemning the fight. During his conversation with TMZ, he expressed his disinterest in tuning into the bout, asserting his belief that it's veering more towards entertainment than genuine pugilism. Getting in there versus Mike Tyson. Does it interest you? And, and how do you see that fight going down on, in July? Not at all. Not at all. If Netflix being involved, yes, it's good. But no, in that kind of fights. I think it's more show than a fight. Canelo mentioned that while he acknowledges the positive aspect of Netflix's involvement, he does not believe it is beneficial in those types of fights, considering them to be more show than actual combat. In another instance, Canelo completely dismissed the idea of a Tyson versus Paul fight. What about Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? Oh. What do you think about that fight? <laughs> We know that notable critique of the Paul versus Tyson bout revolves around the significant age gap between the two contenders. Once a formidable pro boxer, Sugar Ray Robinson, renowned for his prowess in the ring, found himself immersed in the excitement surrounding the fight. Taking to his Instagram, he shared a juxtaposed image of the two contenders. One side showcased a muscular 18-year-old Tyson, while the other depicted a less physically imposing 18-year-old Paul, who would soon face his formidable adversary. Robinson said in the caption, In what second would Jake Paul be knocked out if he faced Mike Tyson at the age of 18. He sought to draw parallels between the fighters, examining their appearances and speculating on how they might have performed against each other had they both competed at the age of 18. Although the initial premise of this juxtaposition doesn't offer much room for debate, enthusiasts swiftly jumped aboard the hype train. One avid Tyson fan posed a rhetorical question. Why do people think Paul will win? Tyson's been training for practically his whole life. Jake will be dead within four rounds, mark my words. Another user is confident of Tyson's prowess as they said, Tyson knocks Barbie Boy out second round or better. On similar lines, another fan of Tyson argued against all of those who think Paul has a winning chance against the 50 to 6 record holder. They noted, now just imagine if they were to both face each other at the age of 18. Another user wrote, within a minute of the first round is my guess if Mike came at him in his regular style. Jake Paul is a douche, and I think most want to see him fall. But here is something interesting. Whether he wanted, needed it or not, Mike will get a cool $20 million for this fight. Jake has generated so much dollars and interest, despite not coming up through the ranks the usual route that it's a big win for both he and Mike regardless of the result. If it's rigged or not, if Mike loses or not, as far as dollars goes, he's won. However, opinions diverge regarding the wisdom of Mike Tyson's decision to compete once more. John Cavana, the esteemed leader of SBG Ireland and renowned mentor to UFC sensation Conor McGregor, voices his disapproval regarding the impending showdown. Cavana said on the MMA Hour, I don't know whether there's a wink and a nod behind the stage. Is Tyson going to be 60, 58, full force blows to the head at 58. No, it's not a good idea. No matter who you are, you don't need to be doing that. If it was kind of an exhibition and they're kind of sparring, great. Kavanaugh holds the hope that it will be classified as an exhibition match to reduce the likelihood of Tyson encountering a severe injury. He added, because I was asked about not necessarily just Mike, but this kind of YouTube boxing stuff and my take on it now, rather than being snobby about it, is I just love anything that gets more kids involved in sports. Kavanaugh added that it would be great if it involved combat sports like boxing, wrestling, or mixed martial arts, among others. He commended Jake Paul if he is effectively contributing to filling local boxing gyms, noting that it aligns somewhat with their own objectives and described such efforts as brilliant. Boxing, wrestling, mixed martial arts, whatever the case may be. And if Jake Paul is doing a good job of filling local boxing gyms, it's, you know, it's a little bit of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Um, brilliant. Kavanaugh further stated that he is not particularly interested in everything else that is involved, especially in that bout, as he believes that someone nearing the age of 60 should not be fighting. He acknowledged Jake's strength, noting his record of knockouts. Kavanaugh expressed his hope that the event remains more of an entertaining spectacle, where participants simply move around the ring and engage in something akin to sparring. He's doing. Particularly on that bout, I don't think someone approaching 60 um, needs to be fighting, you know, would appear Jake hits hard, you know, right. he's knocked out a few guys. So I just hope that it, it is what it is, it's kind of an entertainment thing, and they move around the ring, 
um, and, you know, kind of spar. So as long as it's that, thumbs up. Another prospect looms over the impending match, a scenario where the showdown transforms into a mere exhibition, lacking the fervor of a full-blown brawl. In this light, Kavanaugh envisions a scenario where both contenders withhold their full force, potentially leaving spectators content with the display. He further commented that he believes the majority of the audience for such events are not likely to be high-level boxing enthusiasts. Really high-level yeah, boxing officials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are they really watching for? They want to see a good press conference, maybe a bit of shoving and shouting, whatever, yeah, whatever else yeah. they put on. They'll want to see a spectacular event, you know, lighting and fireworks, great walkouts. Kavanaugh questioned the real motives of the viewers, suggesting that they are more interested in the spectacle surrounding the event, such as engaging press conferences, possible altercations, and the overall entertainment value, including dramatic lighting, fireworks, and impressive walkouts, rather than the technical aspects of boxing itself. Kavanaugh then said the majority of viewers might not fully understand what they're watching or show a significant interest in the technicalities of the fight. He speculated that such an audience might not have the stomach for a genuinely hard fight, emphasizing his belief that most people are watching for the entertainment aspect. Hence, he suggested that the focus should be on delivering an entertaining show to meet the audience's expectations. Interest. And I don't, I think as well, their stomach wouldn't be able for seeing, so, you know, really hard fighting. Right. I guess the point I'm making is, I just think the majority of people watching this is going to be for the entertainment side. Sure. So put on an entertaining show. In a chilling new video, Mike Tyson has issued a grave warning to Jake Paul, cautioning him of the formidable challenge awaiting unless he heeds the seasoned veterans' counsel. We know that the former heavyweight champion has started his training regime well in advance and even shared a throwback boxing video, cautioning Paul with the words, Once I have you in a corner, it's game over, urging him to avoid the ropes during their bout. <laughs> Meanwhile, boxing enthusiasts find themselves stirred with a touch of discontent following the unveiling of the fresh regulations proposed for the impending clash. According to Drama Alert, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight now have new rules. Initially, we're opting for 16-ounce gloves, a slight departure from the standard. It's a reasonable adjustment that neither fighter should contest. Additionally, we've decided on eight rounds, each lasting two minutes instead of the typical three. At first glance, these modifications seem unlikely to significantly impact the match. However, the proposed regulations take a rather absurd turn at this point. According to the official ruling, there won't be any designated judges for the match. Furthermore, a rather peculiar rule dictates that no victor shall be declared unless there occurs a knockout. Lastly, each contender must undergo rigorous EEG and EKG tests prior to the event aimed at preventing any illicit steroid usage close to the date. These regulations have left fans in a state of outrage as they feel it diminishes the stakes of the bout. For instance, this fan said, no rules without KO basically nails on on this is nothing more than a choreographed dance for both to make a load of money. Another added, 16 ounce is not boxing. It's a sideshow that greatly favors point fighters and not KO fighters. Tyson is already going in with huge disadvantages due to age, so it's unfortunate to see his KO ability crippled too. And this fan expressed, this is basically an entertainment like WWE. Mike and Jake would just dance around until Mike loses steam, then Jake hits him hard and boom KO. Mike would accept defeat and ask for a rematch. This new fame in the ring would be milked so hard Another fan chimes in and criticizes Jake Paul saying, Jake Paul thinks those extra six ounce will slow Tyson's punches down, not realizing that it'll be the same speed, but six ounce heavier impact. On the other hand, the emergence of an old tweet from Jake Paul in 2023 has ignited a firestorm of criticism and accusations of hypocrisy directed towards the controversial YouTube personality turned boxer. In the tweet, Paul explicitly denounces the idea of participating in exhibitions, asserting his desire for a real fight without the trappings of what he perceives as fan deception. He tweeted in 2023, Floyd will not see me one-on-one -on -one in a real fight. That's a fact. His team has hit my team numerous times to do one of his exhibitions. Now he ambushes me. Come see me in the ring. Real fight. No exhibition robbing fans bullshit. However, with the recent revelation of the new rules for his upcoming bout against Tyson, which includes elements typically associated with exhibition matches, such as no official judges and no winner, unless by knockout, fans have been quick to call out Paul for what they perceive as a contradiction in his stance. MMA reporter Ariel Helwani recently offered insights about the rules of the imminent boxing match. Helwani affirmed that the prevailing agreement is that the match will officially transpire as a professional bout. He additionally chimed in regarding the criticism surrounding the Paul versus Tyson situation, highlighting that a significant portion of those who ridicule Paul's legitimacy are now expressing concern for Tyson's well-being. It's like the same people 
who were complaining that or criticizing or, or or taking shots, whatever you want to say, that Jake Paul sucks, that he's not impressive, that he fights cab drivers and he can't beat anyone and that he's crazy for thinking that he can do this and that he's living a fantasy bubble. It seems like the same people who won't stop talking about how bad Jake Paul is as a boxer are now all of a sudden extremely worried that he's going to kill Mike Tyson and that he's killing, you know, a legend and that this is unsafe and that this is cruel and that this is this, that, and the other. Helwani highlighted the inconsistency in this perspective, clarifying that fans cannot simultaneously ridicule Jake Paul for not being at a certain level while also expressing apprehension that he could defeat Mike Tyson. Could it be both? You can't in one breath say this guy sucks and is a bum and has no business stepping in the ring against anyone and then in the second breath say he is going to kill a 57 year old man you either think that this is a guy who is good or you think that this is a guy who is a bum the bum can't be the guy that you're afraid of killing you know a guy like Mike Tyson, who I know is 57. Helwani questioned the logic in simultaneously criticizing someone as lacking skill and being unfit to compete, while also expressing fear that the same individual could potentially harm a 57-year-old man. He highlighted the contradiction in viewing someone as both a bum and a dangerous opponent, emphasizing that one cannot both dismiss a fighter's capabilities and fear for their opponent's safety against them. I know it was 57, and you could feel very strongly about a 27-year-old fighting a 57-year-old. On paper, yes, that is jarring. That jumps out at you right away. But two days ago, you were saying he was a bum. Now you're worried he's going to kill Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson can can hold his own against a bum or a novice, in my opinion. I don't know what's going to happen. Meanwhile, the categorization of the match as either an exhibition or a professional bout depends entirely on the ruling of the combative sports program within the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. Brian E. Francis, the interim executive director of TDLR, will ultimately determine the classification based on input from the program's staff members. Telemange, the communications manager at the TDLR, said, it's pretty common for a promoter to request a date several months out, but not immediately provide the proposed card. They want to be sure that they've secured the date with us, since we'll have to make sure we have appropriate staffing available for any event. Mange mentioned that the promoter is required to submit proposed fight cards before a decision can be made on whether a particular contest will be classified as an exhibition or a professional fight. Additionally, the structure of a proposed exhibition would also need to be determined based on the submitted plans. Mange added, the promoter will need to submit proposed cards before we determine whether a particular contest would be considered as an exhibition exhibition or a professional fight or how a proposed exhibition might be structured. Considering Tyson's vast experience in the boxing ring, juxtaposed with Paul's limited exposure, the pairing might be regarded as ill-suited for a professional arena. The complexity escalated with Tyson's age, standing at 57 during the match, necessitating adherence to stringent EEG and ECG tests for fighters aged 36 and above. These assessments are pivotal as they gauge both brain and heart functionality, a critical consideration given Tyson's. Past encounters with head injury and the potential age-related issues pertaining to cardiovascular health. In response to the announcement of the new rules, KSI, another prominent YouTuber turned boxer, took to X to express his skepticism. His tweet questioning whether the bout would effectively be treated as an exhibition reflects the sentiments of many fans who feel that the rule changes detract from the legitimacy of the matchup. So, KSI tweeted with a laughing emoji, so it's an exhibition? Notably, KSI has been expressing genuine worry about Jake Paul's chances in the upcoming bout. KSI finds it difficult to envision how 27-year-old Jake Paul could emerge victorious against Tyson. If he does win, critics may downplay his achievement by emphasizing that he defeated a middle-aged opponent who hasn't stepped into the professional ring for almost two decades. Conversely, if Jake were to lose to Tyson, it could significantly harm his career, possibly more than his loss. To Tommy Fury, KSI said, I just feel Jake's legacy will be, he can knock out old people. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. If he knocks out Mike Tyson and he's beaten by an old old age pension. He's 57. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yes, in his prime. This would have been crazy, but now it's just sad. The spectacle of combat serves solely to captivate audiences. Without the allure of millions of eyes, lucrative gains, and increased fame, what motivation would Jake have to face Mike Tyson? KSI added, there's going to be so many people watching. Millions and millions. Everyone is going to know him as a guy that knocked out an old Mike Tyson. The crux of this battle lies in one thing. 
finances. It's clear that regardless of the outcome, Jake can reconcile with himself. The substantial sum of money at stake will undoubtedly alleviate any sense of disappointment or remorse he may feel, granting him the freedom to embrace his identity, regardless of the result. However, Logan Paul has his concerns regarding Mike Tyson's ability to take a good shot at 57. He said, I still think Tyson can hit hard, but can he take hits? At his age, if you get hit by one solid Jake Paul punch, you're prune juice. There's a growing unease among Mike's inner circle, including close confidants like Dana White. White's apprehension was so palpable that he took the initiative to personally contact Tyson's wife, Lakiha Kiki Spicer, to inquire about Tyson's unequivocal commitment to the fight. Luckily, Dana White found solace in what he heard from her. I talked to his wife a couple days ago, and he's taking this serious, and he's training for it, and, you know, so... We'll see how it plays out. During the podcast interview, White fielded questions about his earlier remarks concerning the upcoming fight. Notably, he had expressed disapproval of the event, citing concerns about Mike Tyson's age. However, he appears to have softened his stance and is now more receptive to the proceedings slated for July 20th. Dana White disclosed that the Tyson clan appears to have matters well in hand. Nonetheless, they also divulged that the proposition presented was utterly irresistible. Paul, I love yeah. Mike Tyson and... Uh... I'm I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at, at our age, um, but he's a grown man, obviously, and you know he's he's going to do what he's going to do. But I, I, at least I know. White commented on Tyson's enduring charisma and presence, noting how he can draw attention and elicit reactions from people even in relaxed environments. He recognized Tyson's ability to earn significant money outside the boxing ring, but pointed out that the financial proposals Tyson receives for returning to fights are so attractive they are difficult for him to decline. Tyson still has that aura. You could be at a restaurant and he walks in and you're like, holy fuck, Mike Tyson's here. You know, he still has that type of aura and, and energy in a room. Um, and, and, and he makes lots of money outside of the ring. I, I just, I think that he ends up getting these offers that he can't refuse. Amir Khan, a former world champion, has also weighed in on the highly anticipated bout between the legendary Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Khan's forecast? He anticipates Tyson will clinch an early knockout triumph. He said, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, wow, no one would have ever expected a fight like that fight to be made. Mike Tyson is a legend of the game and not someone who you want to mess about with, even though he's older now and has been retired for a long time. He's obviously done a few exhibitions. Khan expressed concern for Jake Paul feeling that he could be significantly injured in a fight against heavyweight legend Mike Tyson. Khan found it hard to understand Paul's reasoning for taking on such a formidable opponent, questioning whether the hype surrounding their matchup. Khan added, I just feel that he can really hurt Jake Paul. I just can't believe what Jake Paul's thinking. He's fighting a heavyweight great, and I think he can get hurt badly. Is it just hype with Mike and Jake posting it at the same? Emphasizing the surreal nature of the situation, Khan voiced hope that Tyson wouldn't end up harming Paul. Despite liking Paul, Amir Khan stressed that Tyson Tyson, given his formidable reputation and size advantage, is not an ideal candidate for either a serious bout or an exhibition match for someone smaller and lighter. He added, This is unreal, and I hope that Mike doesn't end up hurting him because at the end of the day, I like Jake, but Mike is not a person you want to mess with or do an exhibition with, especially when you're a lot smaller and lighter. The fight's peculiar rules further complicate its classification, blurring the lines between a sporting contest and an entertainment event. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.